morning, Mr. Hockey. Morning. How are you? Ready to go? Are you sign off today? Uh, I think we're very close. You can be the outcast and be the backlash of somebody's lack of love. Righto. Which way? Federal Cabinet today signed off on the introduction of a deficit levy for high income earners in next week's budget. Despite a rising tide of coalition anger, the real fight today is not between these two people on the Bondi foreshore. Right. We'd better get back into it. The real fight today is within the ranks of a government who are bitterly divided. No one ever said that it was going to be easy. The Liberal Cabinet is in chaos with Tony's tax. This government, this covenant, doesn't like tax increases. We didn't go to the election with a debt levy. Coalition members and senators don't like tax increases. We shouldn't be uh, raising taxes. Senator Cory Bernardi wants a drop. I don't like higher taxes. Former Chief Whip Warren Inch is the latest to break ranks on the proposed deficit levy. I believe it's a, a breach of promise. If your own colleagues won't wear your broken promises, why should Australians... If you say what you want to say and the words fall Honestly, I want to see you be brave I'm confident that this is a budget that keeps our commitments. Don't fall over, guys. What we uh, would ask people across Australia uh, to do is to trust us. How can you trust Mr Abbott again? Surely you're not going to break an election promise and introduce this tax. Uh, I think in the long run, the voters will thank us. Australians should be thanking him. It is the tax that will hang around his neck like a millstone. Tony Abbott staked his reputation on not breaking election promises. It is his July moment. Everybody's been there, everybody's been stared down by. The Abbott government's refusing to rule out a return to an indexed petrol excise, which will push up prices at the pump. There's a theme here, Carl. They don't like the public. How do you sell higher fuel prices? Uh, look, uh, we're selling a better Australia. They are attacking the public through the Bowser now. Tony Abbott's coalition has a new uh, three-word slogan. Stuff you, mate. We're not in the business of breaking promises. There are not enough weasel words for you to be able to tell people that you are not breaking your promises. We're in the business of keeping our promise to fix the budget. This is like attack of the body snatchers. We're not doing any of this uh, for fun. It's becoming a bit like a Monty Python sketch. We're not uh, doing this uh, because it gives us any pleasure. Arms lopped off, legs lopped off like the Black Knight, where you have uh, him saying, oh, it's just a flesh wound. This government is way out of touch. The Prime Minister, the Treasurer, uh, every member of the Cabinet uh, is uh, listening very carefully. I'm going to be able to look people in the eye on Tuesday night and on Wednesday morning and beyond and say we are all in this together. And you will be marked down by the Australian people for your deficit in truth and character on broken promises.